Good evening. Welcome to CSBIS Academy Current Affairs Bulletin. Let us discuss today's current affairs. Government of India releases Health in India report. The Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation recently released Health in India report. The main object of the report is to gather quantitative information on India's health sector. And uh, it also highlighted the health situation of various religious communities in the country. The report said that around 7.5% of Indians are suffering from various ailments. Around 7.5% of Indians are suffering from various ailments. In rural India, it is 6.8%. Indians suffering from ailments in urban India, it is 9.1%. So, urban India is suffering with ailments more compared to rural India. Even this is important. With respect to religions, Jorastrians, 31%, they have a lot of uh, ailments. Then Jain, 6 they have ailments. The survey also found that women remained more susceptible to various ailments. Women are more susceptible to various ailments compared to men. So this is the report, Health in India report, released by Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, remember. Prime Minister Modi ji held virtual bilateral summit with the Danish Prime Minister today. So you all know that Denmark is a colonial power. Prime Minister Modi and Denmark Prime Minister Fredriksen participated in virtual bilateral summit today. According to the statement, we had a very good relationship. In fact, uh, our relationship is 400 years old and we also have 70 years of diplomatic relations. India and Denmark have their legacies in white revolution, uh, that is milk revolution and uh, wind energy. And more importantly, now they are planning to collaborate in intellectual property rights, MOU and IPRs. And uh, Denmark is also working uh, with India in Make in India program, major Denmark countries like uh, Grundfos, Danfos, Vestas, LM Wind, Rockwool, etc. are also investing in India. India and Denmark are cooperating in fighting against climate change by collaborating in wind energy. Even this is important. And the other news today is sandalwood spike disease. Sandalwood spike disease. India's sandalwood trees are facing a serious threat from a destructive disease called sandalwood spike disease. This infection has re-emerged in uh, Kerala, Karnataka, particularly in Kerala and Karnataka. In Kerala, Marimur forest, sandalwood trees in the Marimur forest and in Karnataka also, this disease affected. Sandalwood spike, S-P-I-K, spike disease. S sandalwood spike disease is characterized by a huge reduction in the leaf size, which is accompanied by stiffening and reduction of leaf length also. So now there's a new disease for sandalwoods, that is sandalwood spike disease. Remember, in Kerala and Karnataka, we are seeing this SPIK, sandalwood spike disease. India and Japan had biennial naval exercise, JIMEX 2020, J-I-M-E-X. Japan India Maritime Bilateral Exercise, a three day naval exercise in Arabian Sea, GIMEX. GIMEX in Arabian Sea, Western Coast of India, uh, started on September 26th, 27th, and 28th, three days. So, it's, GIMEX is very, very important. Kindly remember. The next important news to develop Buddhism, particularly Buddhist uh, uh, tourism and other things. A grant of assistance of $15 million for the promotion of Buddhist ties between India and Sri Lanka. On September 26th, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Sri Lankan President, Sri Lankan Prime Minister also, uh, Sri Lankan President Mahindra Rajapaksha, they, Sri Lankan Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha, they had a virtual summit. They had a virtual summit. This is the first time Prime Minister Modi is holding a bilateral summit a virtual mode with the Sri Lanka during COVID pandemic. And India is following neighborhood first policy and also Sagar. 
neighborhood pulse policy and al sagar prime minister modi have announced a grant of 15 million dollars to promote buddhist ties between india and sri lanka india will reportedly facilitate a delegation of buddhist pilgrims from sri lanka to visit the first inaugural flight to kushi nagar in uttar uttar pradesh kindly locate buddhist sites buddhist sites very important so where is buddha born and where he got his uh, enlightenment uh, Mah- where he attained mahaparinirvana buddhist sites are very important for civil exam african leaders they are asking for permanent seat in the unsc as africa have no representation in the continent uh, the entire africa have no representation in the unsc the entire continent have no representation african leaders are asking a representation in unsc as a permanent member so they are all asking they are all asking this is important so next important news is azerbaijan and armenia there is a fight between armenia and azerbaijan see there is a area between azerbaijan and armenia called nagorno karabakh n a g o r n o space k a r a b a k h this is a area which have separated from azerbaijan in fact azerbaijan and armenia both are soviet countries earlier from last almost 28 years there is a fight between azerbaijan and armenia for nagorno and karabakh and again the fight erupted again the clashes erupted turkey is supporting azerbaijan turkey is supporting azerbaijan kindly locate the neighboring countries of azerbaijan armenia and also kindly locate the region of nagorno n a g o r n o karabakh k a r a b a k h this is important the fight is going on now and today is a 113th birthday anniversary of bhagat singh you all know bhagat singh was a martyr he was a freedom fighter and he was hanged by the british when he was 23 years of age he was born in, in the year 1907 and navjavan bar sabha was organized by him he also worked in hsra he is reportedly killed sanders he also instrumental in bombing delhi legislative assembly and uh, bhagat singh uh, 113th 113 birth anniversary today read about bhagat singh please and uh, next important news india ranked 89th in the world risk report 2020 India ranked 89th in the World Risk Report 2020. According to the World Risk Index 2020, India has been ranked at the 89th spot among 181 countries. World Risk Index has been developed by United Nations University Institute for Environment and Human Security. India is behind Sri Lanka, Bhutan, even in Maldives. In terms of abilities to co- cope up with extreme disasters, adopt to cap- capacities and preparedness. so india's rank is 89 out of 18 181 countries in the world risk report particularly disasters adapting capacities like earthquakes storms floods droughts etc see the indian's condition is not that good just think about it and uh, today that is september 28th is uh, international day for universal access to information today september 28th is the international day for universal access to information and this is very important just remember and what is ikwat i q w a t ikwat is a virtual platform which allow kashmiri pandits to come together and engage in professional and social networking in order to seek explore inspire and collaborate ikwat is a virtual platform which helps kashmiri pandits to come together and engage and to reinvent their culture and roots this is very important just remember like that World Bank approved 200 million dollar loan for safe water sanitation in Bangladesh. World Bank have approved 200 million dollar loan for Bangladesh in order to improve access to safe drinking water and sanitation services in the rural areas of Bangladesh. The Bangladesh Wash project, water sanitation and hygiene project will help 6 lakh people to get access to clean water through pipe or water scheme in rural areas. This is important. World Bank is helping Bangladesh. Next important news India's first regional rapid transit system train RRTS train India's first RRTS train the center have unveiled the first look only first look uh, of RRTS regional rapid transit system train 
uh, which is look like you know it resembles like delhi's lotus temple uh, it can uh, go at the speed of 180 km per hour 180 km per hour delhi ghaziabad meerut corridor delhi ghaziabad meerut corridor important next important news world environmental health day was celebrated on september 26th world environmental health day september 26th the day is celebrated to throw the light on important works being done to protect environmental health around the world it is not environmental day it is environmental health day environmental day is on june 5th environmental day is on september 26th magawa m a g a w a magawa the first rat to be awarded a gold medal for bravery magawa is the first rat to be awarded gold medal for bravery so a rare uh, rat called magawa was awarded pdsa gold medal for life saving work in cambodia in cambodia rarely they give awards even to the animals which which shows some bravery and uh, 26 september every year is celebrated as international day for the total elimination of nuclear weapons international day for the total elimination of nuclear weapons even this is important uh, you can write in the essay also 26 september every year international day for the total elimination of nuclear weapons and uh, foundation stone for center for disability sports at gwalior laid on september 26 2020 see disability sports is also very important they are even uh, the olympics conducted for disabled people is called paralympics they can go up to olympic level recently i think you all know arjuna award in that awards mariyappan thangavel he was also paralympic winner so we can encourage disabled people differently able people in sports for that reason foundation stone for center for disability sports at gwalior at gwalior they are constructing so disability comes under which ministry ministry of social justice and empowerment ministry of social justice and empowerment deals with disability issues also just remember like this and next important news foreign ministers of the quad group foreign ministers of the quad group of countries met virtually on september 26 2020 what is quad india america australia japan four countries so to counter china in the indian pacific uh, indo pacific region indian ocean pacific region indo pacific region so foreign ministers of quad countries met recently virtually just remember see we have pinaka a rocket system in fact we can say a pinaka is a multiple rocket launcher produced in india developed by drdo to help indian army so the drdo is going to start for production of more pinaka rockets launchers and related equipment is very important uh, the drdo hand over dgqa all relevant details for mass production of pinaka rocket system pinaka rocket system what is dgqa director general of quality assurance which ensures quality specification and standards for the rockets quality specification and standards for the rockets just remember next is asian development bank approved 300 million dollar loan to develop rajasthan secondary towns now adb asian development bank is giving good amount of loans to india for developmental projects very important just remember this tuberculosis in india india has accorded high priority for ending tb by 2025 india would achieve this target 5 years ahead of sustainable development goals and tb is an infectious disease caused by mtb bacteria myco mycobacterium tuberculosis just remember Uh, remember two types of tb active tb latent tb just make and uh, prepare notes on tb also the next important news water quality in four rivers did not improve during the lockdown period in various rivers in india uh, baitarini brahmani brahmaputra mahanadi narmada penna uh, though they have very good water uh, resources in this time but uh, the quality of various rivers in india water quality is not that fine bod cod is increasing in the water and in india we started plastic park scheme plastic park scheme the ministry of chemicals and fertilizers have approved to set up 10 plastic parks in the country under plastic park scheme uh, the scheme was launched in 2019 the plastic parks will be set up in madhya pradesh assam tamil nadu orissa jharkhand chatisgarh and uttarakhand plastic parks scheme just remember Modi government announced fitness protocols. Fitness protocols. 
uh, fit india is hit india and one year of fit india campaign fit india movement we celebrated one year of fit india campaign fit india movement uh, next important news our foreign minister mr jay shankar participated in virtual sark summit highlights terrorism and obstruction to trade connectivity so sark virtual foreign ministers meet happened on 24th september and our foreign minister jay shankar attended spoke about terrorism and also obstruction to trade all these things these are the important current affairs today with more current affairs tomorrow we'll meet thank you